Hi guys, Frank here from Build Your Own. As you can see, today's a rainy day. And if you watched my other video on this truck, you know I just got done waxing this truck. But you know what, even though it's rained, you can't take the, the detail out. The rain can't take the detail out. Look at the, look at that water beaded up on the, on the hood there. Look at the water beaded up on the roof here. Yeah, buddy, this still looks good. But that's not the reason why we're doing a video today. The reason why we're doing a video today is because I'm gonna take the truck in and get some service. Get some basic things done like the truck doesn't have any reverse lights. There's no reverse lights on this truck. Um, I don't think the third brake light, well, I don't think the cargo lights on the third brake light work. Uh, what else? There's no horn. There's actually no horn like whatsoever. Look, check this out. Like. <laughs> yeah there, there's no horn in here there's no horn there's never been a horn probably need a horn you know what i'm saying there's been a couple of times when i could have used a horn so there's no horn in here and then there's an oil leak that i want to get addressed or at least see how much it's going to cost to get fixed okay so here we are looking in the engine compartment and the engine runs fantastic but you can see the valve covers are really 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 oily right well, look down here in the valley down there. You can see a whole puddle of oil right down there. And so I remember drying that out not that long ago. So maybe the valve cover gaskets are leaking. I'm not sure. Doesn't seem to be leaking down below. It's very, very dry at the bottom half of the engine. Like I said, this thing purrs like a kitten. It's a great truck. Matter of fact, I ordered the lift kit for this truck. So I'm gonna put the picture up in the corner right now to the lift kit that I ordered from Rough Country. It's the two inch uh, GM suspension lift for a two wheel drive truck. I have a 1994 Chevy Cyan C1500 two wheel drive with the 4.3 liter V6 in it. And so I called Rough Country uh, just the other day just to inquire about it. I just want to know, does this two inch kit, does it really just pick up the front end or what does it do? So. According to the gentleman, there's blocks that go in the back, so it's gonna pick the back end up. I think he said an inch and a half, and then you get new shocks in the back, and then you get new springs, and taller springs and shocks in the front that's gonna pick it up two inches. So the truck should sit pretty nice when this is all done. Okay, so if you remember from my detail video, and I'll put a link up, you see how wet the mat is? It's wet because, well, there's no gasket around this door and when I got in the truck this morning I noticed that it was water was seeping in pretty good so I'm gonna have to get this door gasket I did order one piece of it I do have it I think I even showed it in one of my videos uh, and I'll definitely put some links in the description below and to my playlist and all that so you can keep up with this truck but yeah so we're gonna take this truck to the uh, to the dealer and then the lift kit should be here uh, in a couple of days, and then I just gotta find somebody to actually install the lift kit because I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, real quick, we're looking at my uh, 2005 Volkswagen Turbo Beetle with a five-speed manual transmission. I actually did a walk-around review of this car, oh, several months ago. I'll put a link up and down in the description below. The reason why we're looking at this right now is because, you know what? If you like this car and it is super cool, I'm gonna start doing some work on this car. This car needs some needs some work. Yeah, the check engine light's on. It does run, but the check engine light came on and there's some cosmetic things. I wanna do some upgrades because this has the, uh, the 1.8 liter turbocharged engine, the same engine that was in the Volkswagen TT from the early 2000s that put out 225 horsepower. This engine actually puts out 150. They did make this car in a Turbo S where it put out 170 horsepower. So I'm gonna chip it and do all that stuff. I wanna tune this car. It's really, really fun to drive. And I just thought to myself the other day, hey, you know what, this car is just sitting around. I wanna have a little bit of fun with it. So if you wanna follow along as I start to work on this car, I'm going to do that, but we're gonna get that truck a little bit further first. Okay, so now that we talked about all that, let's head over to the, uh, the GMC dealer and uh, drop off the truck. All right, here we are. We're pulling into service. So let me connect with uh, my service guy, and then we'll take a look and see if there's anything cool out on the park, out on the lot here, like a lifted truck or something. Okay, so I just dropped off the truck. My guy said it'll be a few days. 
Uh, and yeah, like I said, we're gonna start uh, doing some work on the Beetle. And it's gonna be something in between what the Volkswagen or what the Audi TT is with its 225 horsepower and what the S version of this is with its 170 horsepower. This car is gonna make more than that. Maybe it'll be a Super S, I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do some work on it, so make sure you follow along, because I'm gonna work on this car and the truck at the same time. Now, like I said, there are a few vehicles out here. Let's take a look at some of these trucks. Seeing that it's raining, it's not gonna make it that much fun to look at these trucks, but let's just take a quick little glance. Here's a Chevy Silverado. I've done a building price of the Chevy Silverado. This one's nice. This one's a 3500 HD. It's tall, too. Trucks like this, mmm, yep, it's got the Duramax, which is what? The 6.6 .6 liter. This one's got the Z71 package. Here's a Sierra Denali. It looks to be about the same height, but I think the Silverado with the LTZ, I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. And then what do we got here? We got a, what is that, a Dodge? Yeah, we got a Dodge. That camper top is not cute though. That's not gonna work for me. All right, we got another Silverado. This is a GMC dealer, so they got a lot of Chevys. Here's another Dodge, it looks pretty cool. They don't have a whole bunch. Here's a little Ram 1500. A lot of these, like I said, I've done building prices of. Here's the new, what is this? The new Chevy Colorado. I heard that they're gonna get rid of the diesel variant that was for that. And here's another Denali HD, a Sierra. And this thing looks really, really, really nice. All right, well, they got a few things out here. Nothing super exciting. Nothing that looks very custom. Although I do see a white truck over there that looks pretty tall. Let's check that out real fast. Okay, so now we're on the other side of that lot. I was looking at this white truck over here, but now that we're over here, it doesn't look as tall as I thought. It's still tall and way taller than mine, even when I get the lift kit on it. But yeah, sweet truck. What I want to take a look at is this one that looks kind of great out here. Is that a dually? I figured let's take a quick look at this thing down here, see what it is. Because this has got some standard steel wheels on it. It might be a dually, 3500. Oh, it's got no cab on the back of it, but it is a dually. Let's check that out. That looks cool. Let's check that out. Oh, it says paid in full on the uh, hanging from the rear view mirror. Somebody's paid this one in full. They just got to pick it up, and I guess they're going to put whatever back they want on it. I think that's how that works. So, yeah, pretty cool. I wonder how much they paid for that bad boy. Fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000? I don't know. All right, let's head back to the car. It's rainy out here. All right, guys, so, yeah, uh, we're all done here. The truck's dropped off, and now I'm going to head back, and... Uh, yeah, they're going to have the truck for a few days, so the next time we talk about the truck, I'll let you know what we got done, and uh, the lift kit should be here so we can actually look at what's all included in that Rough Country 2-inch uh, GM suspension lift. We can actually see it, even though I've put up the picture. All right, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on the, uh, on the next video.